Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a uh, review, a review of the new CL Tint and Protect SPF 50. This is what she look like. Why don't you love me? There it is. This is what she looks like. As soon as I heard about this product, my first thought was, Ilya? You trying to give Ilya a run for their money? And uh, we'll see, we'll see. So if you guys wanna see how I feel about the new CL Tint Protect, go ahead and keep on watching. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the demo by priming. I already moisturized my face. I tried not to do like too much. Um, literally just a serum and moisturizer. I'm not putting on SPF today because we are testing this out and it has SPF 50 in it. You know, you have the option of doing both. Typically I do both, but today I just wanna show you what it looks like by itself. Um, so first I'm going to be going in with the Freck, there we go, the Freck Rich Bitch, uh, primer. I don't have a mirror. Why do I never have a mirror where I'm supposed to? I guess I'll be using this palette. You're going to be seeing this in an upcoming first impressions. I have not used it yet. Um, and so be on the lookout for that. I say that I have a whole mirror sitting right here. I forgot I got a mirror from my desk so I can see. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking in the mirror. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going in with one pump of that. I'm just gonna rub that in. And then I'm also gonna use the glowish, um, what is it, the Blur Jam, right in the uh, pore area apparently as of late my pores have been pouring it up um and we don't like that so i'm just gonna do a little bit here and then around my smile lines i need to shift back to the middle of the desk so i guess i'll move this over hopefully it'll go nope it won't okay well here we are you live, you learn, you try new things. So there's that. Just going to then go in, like I said, with the Glowish Blur Jam. I don't use very much of this, like literally that much is all I use. Ooh, ooh, get off. And then I just press it right here. So right here on the nose and kind of in the smile lines. Just a little bit so this jar will last me forever. I've already had it for like half of forever, like two ever, maybe one ever actually. But yeah, so that's what we are looking like primed. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in to the demo. So I'm gonna give this a good shake and we will jump in. I'm gonna use a brush on this side, a sponge on this side. And if we need to, we'll go over it and build and everything. So I have mine in the shade 10 medium rich. And again, this is the CL Tint and Protect SPF 50. I got this because I was thinking, so it, it comes with like a cap and then there's a dropper. I don't know why there's a cap and a dropper. I feel like you could have like not done the cap. Um, but I got this because I have been, I just dropped that right on my white pants. We love that for us but I have been using the um, Ilia Skin Tint, and while I like it, it has a little less coverage than I would really typically want. And 
while I did find a shade, the shade match is not necessarily, you know, what I what I would be looking for. Mostly because it it does have that white cast. So this is what like two or three drops looks like. I'm so pissed that I got this on my pants. Right in the middle of my pants. Just a big old brown dot. I don't know why I thought I would be able to do a foundation review with um, white pants on, but you know, here we are. So that's like two-ish dots. It's not a lot of coverage, but it is more coverage than the Ilia Skin Tint, first of all. And second of all, the shade looks nice and it is some coverage. Again, I only used a little bit, so I'm going to use a little bit more on my forehead here. And then I'm going to do a couple more drops to show you how it'll build. So I typically do my eyebrows after I do the rest of my makeup. And today I decided to do it before I did the rest of my makeup. And I now don't know how to function. So you can see in my forehead, side without, side with, definitely, I don't, typically need a lot of coverage on my forehead so you can see that it did cover what I needed it to. It does build well but you just have to be careful because it has such a dewy finish that if you put too much on you're gonna look really really wet and if you have oily skin that's not gonna be the move for you sis. So that is this side with a sponge, or not a sponge, a brush. Now I'm going to do the other side with a sponge. And because it is so liquidy, I know for a fact I'm going to get less coverage on this side. This is not a first impression, by the way. This is definitely like a full on review, um, but definitely going to get less coverage on this side. But I just kind of want to show you the difference. So here we go. One, two, three, and then a drop on my forehead. When I do a sponge, it's a little bit harder for me. I like to go in with the brush just to kind of move everything around. But then I feel like I take up some of the coverage, but I'm just gonna go in with my sponge. Definitely less coverage. Strangely enough, I feel like I also get less glow with the sponge, which is something typically people use the sponge for, is especially with like matter foundations to enhance the glow. I feel like I get a little less glow with the sponge, but you know, it's, it's still glowy. Again, I don't know how to act around my eyebrows. This is so difficult. I will say that it is really, 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 really easy to blend this out. It's not difficult at all. You don't have to work too hard. So this is the brush side. This is the sponge side, less coverage. I tend to lean more towards the brush. So I'm just gonna go in, cause this still has some of the product on it. I'm just gonna go in and kind of build from there with that. I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like with the sponge but I am not a a sponge type of gal I've got loads of them I've got sponges out the ass do I use them absolutely not do I try to use them every now and again absolutely I do do I always go back to my brush yes so that is what we are looking like right this second it is 10:46. I am going to go and do the rest of my makeup. I will be first impressioning the Hourglass Holiday Palette. This is the Jellyfish Outside, but it is the, um, if you're looking at it on the website, it's the Snake Inside, but I customized mine on Hourglass's website. You can do that, by the way. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go probably do my face with that you know throw on some concealer and I'll be back to show you guys what my face is looking like when I'm ready for the rest of the day 
All right, guys, it is 11, 19, 11, 20. If you want to get like, you know, roundy, we're going to round. Um, it's 11, 20. This is what the face is looking like completed. Uh, I did have to go back and touch up my brows, but this is what my face would typically look like. These are products that I use all the time that I know what they look like. Different shades, same products. Um, so this is what the face is looking like. I honestly want to say that I fancy this, you know, I'm fancy, I fancy. I, I, I like this a lot more than I like the Ilia. Um, a, first of all, because the Ilia has SPF 40 and this has SPF 50. And being of darker complected tones, uh, I tend to like my higher SPFs. So we like this one better. Also, it doesn't have that white cast. So with the Ilia, I put it on and I could wear it out by itself, but I tend to have to like touch up. Um, I'll do color corrector around my mouth and under and all over the face so I don't look as ashy with this. I don't have to do that. I can just do what I regularly, regularly do and I don't look ashy. Um, really quick, let me jump on to the site because I got like 30 seconds to record. Um, but I'm going to tell you kind of what it says it's supposed to do and I'll tell you really quickly if I agree. Um, I will also insert swatches of this compared to the Ilia so you can kind of see the difference in the tint is type thing, you know, the, the cast and all. Um, so it's a mineral SPF. First of all, that is one thing I really, really like. I am not a physical, not a physical, a chemical SPF type of girl chemical SPFs break me out. So this is mineral. Ilya is mineral as well, which I like. Um, but mineral is something that I'd be looking for. Okay. So mineral SPF weightless. Yes. Tinted serum that blends into a seamless second skin. Um, buildable to light medium coverage. I will say yes on the days where I want less coverage. I just use a couple less drops. Um, but on days like Right now, I just want, I just wanted a beat. I just wanted to look cute and have a beat. I can build it up and it doesn't look like what you got going on there. Like it doesn't look like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it necessarily. Most tinted serums or mint tinted moisturizers, if you build them up too much, they look heavy. This does not look heavy. It just looks like now a medium to full coverage foundation versus a light to medium skin tint. You know what I'm saying? um let's see it has skincare in it um that is something i am not hesitant about there are a lot of people that are hesitant about skincare infused products but since i started using the house labs foundation that is a skincare infused foundation and it's my favorite foundation to ever exist on the planet at all times so this having the spf in it as well plus the skincare non-comedogenic and a look like that I'm just saying um, and then yeah for real for real that's it um, this product is $44 I want to say the Ilia is 45 if I'm wrong the price will be on the screen somewhere right here but I 100% recommend this I do wish they had more shades I have the shade 10 and I want to say it goes up to 13 try it or is this 10 yes I had the shade 11 was way too dark way too orange i look kind of like a dark skin pumpkin which is not what i'm going for all of the time that was rude okay um i honestly don't remember what i was saying because when you have an inch day and the card fills up and now you have to remember what you were doing before you had to go back and i don't remember what i was talking about either way i absolutely really do like this product oh i wish they had more shades i think Ilya has like 30 some 40 some there's 13 of this one wish they had more shades but because it's supposed to be like light medium they said you can get away with I'm tired of that being an excuse but that's beside the point I do like this more than Ilya CL CLA seal I don't I think it's CL CL you did that baby um I don't know why nobody else is talking about this but hey, if you were interested in the CL Tint and Protect SPF 50, 
go ahead and give it a whirl i do have dry skin um or i think it's dry everybody else says it's like relatively normal but that's because i take care of it because uh hydration is necessary so that is that i will insert footage of um my check-in later today just so you can see how it wears throughout the day i keep touching my hair sorry um just so you can see how it is worn throughout the day but this is what it's looking like now do i recommend i do if you can find a shade i would say go ahead and try it out i don't know again i don't know why nobody is talking about this because when Ilya did it and it was all over tiktok everybody was all up Ilya's but um i think this one is just 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 a little bit better you know so you know give it a try give it a try highly recommend 10 out of 10 okay maybe not 10 maybe nine and a half out of 10 again not a first impressions i've worn this before i think it's fantastic so i think it lives up to all the claims that it has on sephora's app and yeah guys i know this was a little all over the place because i just impulsively decided i wanted to uh to talk about this today but hope you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe down below comment have you heard of a this brand or b tried any of their products if you have let me know what you think down below in the comments if you have not would you try it how you think it how you think it'll compare it compares it'll compare in your mind to the ilia skin tint if you've tried that have you tried the ilia skin tint i'm talking a whole lot thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll see y'all in the next one this is